But as I was saying was that Gaelic for me was just like a different language. Like Japanese or like Spanish or anything. Like if it's not English then I'm not gonna speak it. You know what I mean? Like to me language is important however like it is good to learn language. Some certain some languages like if you want to get a job somewhere like let's say for example you want to get a job in like a supermarket and there is Japanese employees and they won't understand you because they're like exchange students anyway but I'm just saying like what's the point of learning Gaelic like no one, no one's gonna learn Gaelic. Not for, like people from a different country is not gonna learn Gaelic. They're gonna learn English. They might as well learn English. Let's go. You know what I mean? They might as well learn English instead of learning Gaelic. Like, oh, because of one video. Oh, wow. Yeah, I'm gonna listen. I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk Gaelic the entire time. You know what I mean? We only just saw like I think two videos, no, three videos. Three videos of Irish uh, Gaelic, you know, why Gaelic is good. You know what I mean? And they're fucking old. They look like they came from like 2000, the fucking 2000, fucking year 2000. The fucking video quality was so shit that I thought it was run by a potato. Uh, so you had like Yang Sung uh, and the fucking Irish person. So basically. It was like this video about an, a Japanese or Korean, was it? I, I think it's Korean or Japanese. Hold on, let me think. I think it was Korean. I think it was Korean. I'm gonna stick with that. I think it was Korean. Uh, a Korean employee who's sick of being in, um, who's sick of being in, um, doing his like regular job of uh, doing stuff. And he spins the world, and he, he happens to land on Ireland, and then, and then he goes to the dictionary, and sees that Ireland speaks Gaelic, and so he learns Gaelic, and over time he actually is fluent in Gaelic, and then when he's fluent in Gaelic, he goes over to here. Oh my god, everyone was just a stereotype. Oh my god, the war. Literally, it was such a stereotype. Like, literally, I wanted to go into that video and punch everyone in the, behind that screen. Literally, everyone was just a stereotype. Like, literally, there was this Aussie wannabe. He's like, hey, mate, how you doing? He's like, He's like, you know, like, the Australian stereotype. Like, that has, like, this stripe at uh, this... He... <laughs> He has like the poked up hair like Bart Simpson and he has like the tan he's like oh hey, mate how you doing you know what I mean like that has a, that has a like Australian accent and then he, go he goes into a bar and he doesn't know how to eat you know what I mean he doesn't know how to eat and all that stuff and he goes into the bar and the man goes would you like a drink? Would you like in it? I think it was a temporary voice. Yeah, he's like, Would you like a drink? Drink Guinness. It's Irish. That's what he did. And when he said that, when he said it's Irish, my body cringed. I was like, yeah. I literally wanted to kill him. I, I, when he said it's Irish, I was like, I'm gonna murder your tire. I was like, I was like, he just disrespect the entire Irish language. He literally said, it's Irish, in the most stereotypical Irish voice. I was like, I want to kill him. Please let me kill him. I'm going to find him and I'm going to kill him. Anyway, um, when, when he went in the bar, there was this old man. He was like, oh, you could speak Gaelic. Very good. You're very good at Gaelic. Not half of the people can't speak Gaelic here. And he's like, why? 
Because our English, we can all speak English. We can all speak English. Not Irish anymore. No one speaks Gaelic anymore. And in nowadays, in 2024, there's only 0.0.4%. I don't think you should learn Gaelic anymore. I don't think you should learn Gaelic anymore. I think you should learn English. Honestly. And anyway, no, well, he didn't say that. He, d he just said, uh, I think I can get you a job, mate. And then when he gets some job as a bartender in, like, I think somewhere, I fucking don't know. But anyway, he worked as a bar, uh, he worked in the bar, and he's loving it. Then the second video came, and the second video was even worse than the first one. Um, oh yeah, it was the New York guy. There was this New York comedian, right? And he wanted to make it his mission to learn the Irish language. High, high level, learn, learn Irish, Gaelic. And I was like, mate, you're wasting your time, mate. You're wasting your time. And oh my god, he was cringe. He was absolutely cringe. He, he even sung the Ir uh, you know, jump. You know that song? Jump, jump, jump. Mm -hmm. You know that song? In Gaelic. And I was like, oh. I was like, oh. I was like, I don't care. I don't speak Gaelic. Like, I'm born, I was born in Ireland, and I don't speak Gaelic, because Gaelic is like a long, another language to me. I know a few words in Gaelic, not all of them. I know Cunis, that means quiet. And that's it. That's all I know. That's all I know. That's all I fucking know. Well, anyway, um, that's all I know is Cunis, and the video had, it was just him learning, uh, Gale, and I was like, oh, alright, that part doesn't make me want to, want to be Gale, it just wants me to be English. It, ma it makes me happy to be English, that's, that's, that's what it made me feel like, it made me happy to be English. It didn't want me to ma be Irish. It, it didn't make me be Irish, it made me just want to be English all over again. Thank God I was exempt from English, uh, 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 Irish. I think I'm gonna save, and then when I save... Well, anyway, um... No, I just don't wanna speak here, like, anyway. Like, it's just like a learn language for me, I don't give a fuck. I, I'm not gonna be forced to do it. Um, and the third video was just lip sync. It was just literally like everyone doing an Irish test, and that was it. Everyone's just taking a Gaelic test, which I didn't have to do, thank God, because I'm exempt from Gaelic. Yeah, you see what I mean? You see what I mean? You see what I mean? Like, 
They they're trying to make us they're trying to force us to be Gaelic. And then they know a hundred percent that after we uh, after we leave, they're not, we're not gonna we're not gonna care about Ga Irish anymore. That's why there's only four percent of people that are, that can speak Gaelic, because no one speaks Gaelic in in Ireland. They're all forced to be to speak English. Uh, no, I'm just saying that I don't want to learn gay like anyway. I'm just saying that, like, Gaelic was just, like, shit. <clears throat> it's just literally, like, like learning the, uh, a different language, really. That's all it was like. It was just, like, learning, like, German, French. Oh, yeah, that's another thing. Um, we were had to, we had to choose between, we actually had to choose what, um, language we wanted to do we can either do french german and i think the last one was chinese i believe or something like that or i don't remember what was the last one no spanish spanish that was, that was the last one so uh, german german uh French and Spanish, and I went with German because I think German was quite kind of easy. Like my name, you know, I mean, my name. Obviously, that's easy. You're too slow. You're slow. John, every time Allende hits us, we hit him back harder.
That's weird. Why did no one attack me? I thought someone was attacking me. Easy. Hmm. Go. Exactly. We were friends once. A lot's changed since then. Now that we are friends, I hope you will give me some warning if you get a sudden urge to kill me. You'll be the first to know when I kill you, I promise. So where are they? Who? Williamson and Escuela. I'm not sure exactly where. They are definitely in Mexico. That much I know already. You told me you'd found them. And I will. I have my very best men working on them. If I find out you're lying to me, Reyes, you'll really see the man I used to be. I will give you your friends, I promise. 
Just give me time. So how did you meet this William Song and Esquaja? We ran in the same gang together. Under a fella called Dutch. We were all bad. Oh, guys. finally he talked about Dutch after to so long. Woo! Yeah, baby! That's what we're waiting for. That's what it's all about. Woo! References to Red Dead Redemption 2. Let's go. <coughs> I suppose he saw that the system of power was rotten, that good people had been crushed for too long, and he believed that change could only succeed if it was brutal and relentless. Make America what he felt it was supposed to be. I like the sound of this man, Dutch. Another violent idealist. Where is he now? I don't know, but I gotta find him once I'm done with them two. In the end, he went insane. Lost faith in everything and everyone. After so long, uh, we actually heard the name what a, Dutch. What a story, John Marston. I really <coughs> am a little jealous. <coughs> jealous? Of his poetic potential, I mean. He would make an excellent corrido. A bullfight? No, mi hermano. That is a corrida. No, a corrido is as Mexican as Mexico itself. A song, a poem, a story, a ballad. A musical tribute to a heroic man and the great deeds. There are over a hundred written about me. Remind me to stay away from men with guitar. <laughs> In a country where most people cannot read the newspaper, song is a powerful means of communication. We do what we can to battle the lies and propaganda of the government. I know. I've seen your posters. In the capital, they are already talking about my legendary escape from El Presidio. How I fought off a thousand Mexican soldiers with my bare hands. Finally, the people have the truth. I have to know, what did you think of Agustin Allende, Young? I saw enough to know he ain't a good man. It is bad enough he beats the people he swore to protect, but it is worse that he enjoys it. Something must have made him that way. Cowardice made him that way, my friend. That and Sanchez, of course. Who? General Ignacio Sanchez, our country's kind and generous dictator. Everything comes from him. It is like a father who beats his son, and then his son takes his dog outside and rapes it. That's a very specific example, Abraham. Es una marioneta. How do you say, a, a, a puppet? Everything he does is controlled by Sanchez. In America? They told us Sanchez was making things better here. Pinche propaganda. He talks about economic reform, about how this is a new golden age for Mexican people. But look around you. The people are poorer than ever. Jesus, man. Gente is nothing more than a perrito for General Sanchez. A what? A little puppy dog that leaves his feet and makes him feel of not far now. But off I start up ahead, we must hurry. The train will be leaving soon. What's on that train that's so important? I received information that the army is transporting a vast quantity of supplies to distribute to their forces. Do we have a plan? I want I'm fucking on the train, man. Not far now. Superosa is just up ahead. We must hurry. The train will be leaving soon. What's on that train that's so important?
The only thing I hate about doing Red Dead Redemption is that I can't see keep doing this until the end. I just want to do Undead Nightmares really honestly.
Sorry, what? agreement. If you kill me, you'll have the entire Mexican army after you. Look at that coward! Things you gotta finish yourself. That man is responsible for hundreds of innocent dead. Maybe thousands. He will burn in hell. We all will, my friend. First, you need to help me find Javier Escuela. This place is 
deserted. Is it always this quiet? Ahora mismo! Mátalo! Toma, pelos! Hey, you, lady. Hmm. Where's Javier Escuela? Come on. That's what that's the reward I get for being famous. Is so I can steal horses. That's weird. That's like saying that's like saying, oh you're famous, now you can steal cars. Imagine that, huh? imagine that logic in GTA 5, oh my god, you're famous, now you can steal cars. <laughs> oh, no, that's true, then fucking, I can get a tank easily, <laughs> without getting in trouble, <laughs> you know what I mean? Jesus, and to think we were working with that man, you know what I mean? You Santa. I just want to get out of fucking Mexico. 